And this is my accumulation of scarves. I have an entire laundry basket of just scarves. She said it's good when you have a hoard to put them all together so you count them up and you know how many you have. Yep, I have some scarves to count. <laughs> Hi, this is Di, and I'm about to start the Comrie Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up Method. I just finished this book. It's been going around. A lot of people have been reading it. All about how to tidy up your life by Marie Kondo. It's a Japanese method. She's very detail-oriented, so we'll see how it goes. But the first thing you do is the purge, the throwing things out, not having so much stuff, and you always start with your clothes. So uh, I'm going to show you my clothes before and then I'll show you after. I'm starting out with my closet like this. Let's see, you can see it better like that. That's my closet right now. I have this pile of clothes down below. Those are things that need mending or I don't wear anymore, so I need to go through those. And then I have um, a basket of clean clothes to, uh, and a load, another load of clean clothes. My jackets everything in this dresser to go through. The first thing she says to do is to make a giant pile on the floor. My back and knees are pretty bad, so I'm gonna try, kind of pile mine on the end of the bed and then throw it on the floor if I have to, to go to sleep tonight. I'm hoping I finish today. We'll see. I forgot about the box under the bed. I have to get the box under the bed too. I forgot the cupboard in the entryway. Yep, I gotta get this. Um, I think I found all the clothes. Here's the pile. Now, I don't consider myself a fashionista or a clothing horse. I don't spend a lot of money on clothes. My mother-in-law got sick in 2012 and moved back up from Phoenix with her husband who was taking care of her. And then in October of 2012, he got sick with a brain tumor. So everybody in the family really worked hard to help take care of both of them. And then in 2013, well, my mother-in-law was in the hospital. I got sick and was in the hospital and had surgery. And then right after my surgery, my mother-in-law died. And then four months later, her husband died. So I know what I was doing instead of going through my laundry and throwing out clothes. I was just trying to get through the day. But I think it's been enough time. It's time to say goodbye to some friends. That's the way she treats clothes, like they're old friends who took care of you, but you have to be able to say goodbye to them. So it's time for me to say goodbye to some old friends. Now with her method, every single item I has to be touched, picked up, and I have to decide if it sparks joy. If it sparks joy, I can keep it. If it doesn't, I can toss it. I got black garbage bags and white garbage bags. So I'll use the black ones for everything that goes in the garbage, and the white ones I'll use for everything to go to charity, because I can't stand to waste like that. I was gonna write down the things that need to be replaced that I wear all the time, but they're in too bad of condition. And then that way I can shop for those items later. Maybe I'll wait and see if I, I reach for it and it's not there, just because there are some basics that really need to be replaced, things with holes in them and stuff. But I know I wear every day, so that'll make it easier to get rid of the ones with the holes. <laughs> I am so far. These are the two charity. These are the clothes I'm going to keep hung up in my closet. You can see I ended up with extra hangers. <laughs> I thought it was out of hangers. I need to buy more. Anyway, these are the clothes I'm going to put back in my clothes closet. And these are the clothes I need to try on. And this is my accumulation of scarves. I have an entire laundry basket of just scarves. She said it's good when you have a hoard to put them all together so you count them up and you know how many you have. Yep, I have some scarves to count. Wait, before I count the scarves, I want you to pause the video and go down in the comments and write down how many scarves you think I have. That would be awesome. We'll see who's closest. The answer is 47. 
and I was able to weed about half. So make it in the 20 neighborhood, which will be a better than 47. Okay, there's nothing in my drawers, so I'm gonna start first with my tops. This is the pile of tops. And the Marie Kondo method means that every time I fold something, I fold it so that it st sits upright in the drawer. I'll show you an example. I did all of my um, gloves already. And see how they're sitting up? That way you know you can pick without digging under things. You don't want to dig under. So I'm going to try to fold my tops. Success. Well, even though I put everything on the bed, my back is still starting to hurt. So I've got the pile of everything to go to charity. Garbage in the black bag. Clothes all hung up. They have to go from longest to shortest. And then I have this basket of clothes to put away and these two baskets to put away. And I will be done. It's just gonna take more than one day, which is pretty normal when you do this big of a purge. <laughs> Before I upload the vlog, I wanted to update you and show what I've gotten done as far as the calmerie of my clothing goes. And I had not shown you the inside of my drawers when they were a mess. They pretty much looked exactly like the pile that was on this bed. But I'll show you what they look like now that they're clean. See? She says to lay the stockings the other way, but this drawer is really shallow, so this way works for me. They look like little rolls of sushi. Okay, there's the socks and underwear. I already had the cubby thing. You can't buy any organizers while you're organizing, but I already had it. I'm gonna see if I like it. It's kind of nice because it's such a big shallow drawer. It keeps them from falling over. This is all my shirts, my tank tops, t-shirts, all the casual stuff, undershirts. There's my pajamas. Okay, that had gotten where it was taking over two drawers and they couldn't shut, so now the drawer's shut. And then my pants, this one hasn't stayed as tidy, I think. My dresser is too shallow, so I might have to figure out a better way of folding. And then this bottom drawer, which is my what's left of my scarves. This is it for the scarves. I actually have decided that the fluff, the thinner fabrics I've decided to hang up because they wrinkle badly and they don't look good and they don't fold very well. So I just have four hung up in here. Closet still looks like a closet. The shoes all organized there. I've got some boots to figure out because I gave a pair of black boots to Charity even though both of them really needed to go because I was waiting for my order of black boots to come but then I tried to wear them. Yeah, those are two black boots that don't make a pair. So uh -oh, if I donate them to Charity, maybe they'll make a match up inside the store. Anyway, my new black boots came and so they're gonna go in that spot. I'll put both pairs of boots over there. <sighs> Haven't done linens yet. You can see the linens are still a mess. I did one thing that she does, which is put jewelry that you wanna keep but you don't know what to do with. I put it on my hangers. <sighs> so my hangers look a little fancier. And I did get the other book. I didn't think I showed you the other book. She has a second book, Spark Joy. And this book is the workbook. That's why there's a big postcard in it because I'm using it as a placeholder and I'm actually working through the items in order. I finished my jewelry today, but that's for another vlog. I will show you that. So thank you so much for watching. Um, tell me how your organizing is going. Have you tried the Calmarie method? What did you think about it? Was it hard to maintain? I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon. God bless. Blessed are the porn spirit. There's just the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who are they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, they will be